coming into GarageBand on the iPad now. And um, yeah, there might be a little bit of a delay. That's fine. So Christine, I think you'll recognize this tune. <laughs> uh oh, now, now I'm nervous. What is yeah, no, 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 no. So um, this is something I wrote as a, a songwriting demonstration based upon a uh, an ad that was running um, on MLB TV a couple of years ago. So um, let me just play the backing tracks for you and maybe uh, I can get a thumbs up if you're able to hear it. Okay, so I recorded a very bad vocal on this because I wanted to see what the pitch correction could, could do for me. Uh, you'll notice that in the left-hand corner, you know, we've got this, these buttons uh, to enable or disable the, the plugins. Uh, and one of them is this enhanced tuning. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of, uh, this would lend itself better to the sort of T-Pain effect that I was talking about earlier. It's not subtle. Um, and it's sort of it's sort of one size fits all. Uh, but here's my here it is with the vocal. I thought that you were a goner. I thought I'd go back to my maiden name. Okay, I gave you guys a nice note waiver there at the very end, just so you guys would be able to hear the you know the effect that this uh, pitch correction has. So let me go ahead. And, um, and show you guys actually the uh, controls and they're very limited for this. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm flipping over to the view that you'd have when you're doing the actual recording. And you can see here when I toggle on the enhanced tuning, which I'm doing right now, see I'm toggling on and off. Uh, when I bring pitch control up with this uh, knob, uh, it's going to give me more of that, um, well, T-Pain effect or less transition between the notes. So here's what it sounds like now. I thought I'd go back to my maiden name. So you can, you can hear that. It's less of a waver now. And now it sounds more like it's just going, duh, just sort of alternating between those two pitches. OK, so once again, uh, without the pitch correction, I'm just swimming for that note. And then if I turn it on and it's maxed, I made the it sounds more like it's just alternating between two notes. And then they also give you this, this fun uh, with extreme tuning. And I'm going to crank that and we'll see what that sounds like. I thought that you were a goner. I thought I'd go back to my maiden name. Yeah, so it sounds pretty artifacted again. Anyway, I just wanted to show that to you guys. You know, it does exist um, on mobile. I did a little research um, into plugins that are, you know, audio unit version three or inner application audio uh, compliant. These are plugins that would be used on iOS, for example. And what I found is that um, the good ones are really expensive. Uh, there's one called Audio Tune that runs you $99. And I'm sorry, I, I just didn't plunk out the $99 to test it. Uh, there's no demo. And then there's another one called Vocal Synth that gets pretty good reviews. That one's about $12, but those would be enabled using um, either Audio Unit version 3 or Inner Application Audio um, on iOS. Anyway, Christine, maybe you see if there's any questions or are there any questions I about actually, this? Actually, I have an important question. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you had a maiden name. <laughs> what is your maiden name? <laughs> Right, so that's all that yeah. ad. I'll link to the ad later. I'll link to the ad later. It's a great ad for you know for Gen Xers that are disillusioned um, that MLB was. So running. for those of you that didn't catch it, the lyrics are: "I thought that you were a goner. I thought I'd go back to my maiden name," which is hilarious. But then the fact that a dude is singing it, my husband in particular, is hilarious. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So that's uh, pitch correction in iOS on GarageBand.